Hello friends. In this video we will learn about animal fibers, wool and silk. When you go to cloth shop with your mother, she gives specifications of the fabric she want to buy, to the salesperson. If she wish to buy a sari of beautiful fabric for a Diwali which should be soft, fine, smooth, lustrous and warm. Which fabric will she buy? Do you know its source? Let's find out the source of this fiber and also discuss about wool fibers. A fiber is long, narrow and flexible thread of a natural or artificial substance. Fibers such as wool and silk are animal fibers because they are obtained from animals. Wool fibers are hair of wool yielding animals such as sheep, angora rabbits, goats, alpaca and even camels. The wool coat of these animals is called fleece. This coat keeps their bodies warm in the cold season. Wool Yielding Animals Most sheep have two types of hair from which the wool is obtained. Outer coarse hair is known as the kemp. Fine, soft, undercoat close to the skin is the true wool from which wool fiber is obtained. Fine, soft fiber obtained from the undercoat of the cashmere goat is called cashmere. Outer coat hair fibers are quite coarse. High quality cashmere is obtained by dehairing or combing. Found only in mountain regions of China and Tibet. Soft white fiber called Angora wool is obtained from the Angora rabbit. Stiff, long, guard hair growing through the soft coat have to be removed before the fur from these rabbit is combed out. Soft white fur obtained is then spun into yarn is used to make sweaters. Wax are found in Tibet and Ladakh. Their coats consist of outer long coarse hair and an undercoat of soft and silky wool. The color usually ranges from brown to black. Camel fleece consists of a soft, fine undercoat and overcoat of long coarse hair that grows up to 15 inches long. Camel wool is considered as a healthy natural product. It has excellent thermal insulation property. Sheep farming Sheep farming means rearing and breeding sheep. Sheep are reared mainly for their wool. They are reared in herds, in semi-arid and mountainous regions. In India, sheep are reared in Rajasthan. Jammu and Kashmir Himachal Pradesh Uttarakhand Sheep mainly feed on grass. They are also fed with mixtures of pulses, corn, dry grass and grains. A sheep lives for up to 11 to 12 years. Some common breads of Indian sheep are Lohi Rampur Busha Nali Bikhawal Mawari Patnawadi The steps involved in wool production are Shearing Scouring Sorting Grading Cutting Spinning Weaving The process of removing and collecting the hair from the animal is called shearing. This is done without harming animal by using shearing tools, which is similar to the common shaving machines used by barbers. Shearing is usually done during summer season. This allows animals to grow back hair by the time winter arrives. The amount of wool produced by one sheep varies from 1 to 3 kilograms. Wool obtained after shearing is sheep is called raw or grease wool. It contains dust and dirt therefore, requires thorough cleaning. This is called scouring. This makes the wool suitable for making fabric. 
Scouring involves the shorn wool in hot water and detergent and then drying. After scouring, some wool gets damaged. The damaged or inferior wool is carefully removed. This process is called sorting. The wool is also sorted according to the length, color and texture of fibers. The process of sorting wool according to the length, color and texture of fibers is called grading. The price of the wool is determined by the grade of the wool. The fine wool is used to make lightweight textiles. Before wool can be used for making fabric, it is straightened. This process is called carding. In carding, the wool fibers are passed through a series of metal sheet to straighten the fibers. Carded wool is then stretched and twisted into a thin yarn. These thin yarn are spun and joined together to form a single strand of yarn. Woolen yarn is woven or knitted into fabric, which is then used to make finished products such as clothes and bags. Properties of Wool Wool is a hard fiber that retains its nice appearance for a long time. As a fabric, wool absorb moisture from body and retains it inside its fibers, which helps us to hold body heat. Woolen garments also generate heat from the moisture absorbed from the atmosphere. Wool can be colored with different types of dyes. It does not burn easily. When subject to flames, it will burn slowly with smoke but no flame. Wool is composed of natural proteins which are biodegradable. Wool does not allow heat to transfer through it very easily. Silk is an animal fiber obtained from the cocoons of silkworms. In 5000 to 3000 BC, China begins producing silk. It was started in Yellow River Basin. In 200 to 100 BC, silk was traded along the Silk Route. Silk reaches eastern parts of the Roman Empire. In 6th century, the farming of silkworms was established in Europe. In 7th century, the movement of silk along Silk Route was on peak. In 11th century, the sericulture spreads to Western Europe. Roger II of Sicily captured weavers and weaving equipment during Second Crusade. In 12th century, Italy begins producing silk. In 15th century, France becomes center of silk trade. At present day, China remains the world's leading producer of silk. The Chinese realized the value of the beautiful material they were producing and kept its secrets safe from the rest of the world for more than 30 centuries. Silk moth is a white insect. The different stages in the life cycle of a silk moth are as follows. Eggs. It is the first stage of a silkworm's life cycle. The female moth lays its eggs during the summer. The egg hatches in spring. Larvae The eggs hatch into larvae or caterpillars, which feed on tender mulberry leaves. This stage lasts for about 27 days, and during this time, the larvae shed their skin four times. The process of shedding the skin is known as molting. Pupa Cocoon The caterpillar spins fine silk filament around it in layers to form a cocoon. The silkworm takes three to seven days to prepare the cocoon. Silk threads are obtained from the cocoon. The color of the cocoon can range from white to golden yellow. Adult Silk Moth The pupa changes into a moth, which comes out of the cocoon. The female adults lay eggs and the cycle continues. Properties of Silk Silk is soft, smooth and lustrous. It is the strongest natural fiber. The absorptive capacity of the silk fabric makes comfortable apparel even for warmer atmosphere. 
silk is cool to wear in the summer and warm to use in the winter. Silk fabric does not attract dirt because of its smooth surface. The cocoons are obtained before the larvae mature by dipping the cocoons in hot water. The process of obtaining silk threads by soaking cocoons in hot water is called reeling or filature. Separated filaments from four to eight cocoons slightly twisted to create a single strand. Many strands together constitute a silk yarn. These strands are then spun into silk cloth by the weavers. The quality of the silk fabric depends on many factors such as the type of silkworm, quality of the mulberry leaves fed to the silkworms, selection of cocoons, weaving and finishing of the silk thread. Workers employed in woolen silk industries often suffer from various kinds of ailments. These are called occupational hazards. Sauter's disease or anthrax is an infectious disease caused by bacterium bacillus anthracis which is present in the fleece of infected animals. Laborers may have allergic skin reactions such as irritation of the skin and eyes. Various chemicals used in processing causes irritation of the eyes and skin. The scales of the moth and silk fiber proteins can initiate asthma. Continuous contact with hot water may turn the skin of the hands soft and cause burns and scalds. Many of the dyes are easily absorbed by our digestive system. Prevention can be done by using less dangerous chemicals, having proper exhaust and ventilation, personal protective equipment, good washing facilities and strict personal hygiene. Hope you understand everything about animal fibers. Visit our channel now for such informative videos.